So, Pokemon Go Fest seemed to die on its backside a little bit. I know you guys want to know what happened, so I'm going to pull all the information we have together and let you guys know. Keep watching. Hi guys, welcome to a video I really don't want to have to make actually. It's about Pokemon Go Fest and what happened at Pokemon Go Fest. And it was terrible. I, what I want to do is, I know there's so much information out there, I know loads of people want to know what's going to be happening with legendaries, I know what people just want to know what happened on the day, so I'm trying to pull together all the information I can so you guys can know what went on. Right, first and foremost, John Hankey got booed. A lot. Um, I'll put the, well, let's just put it on. Please help me welcome to the stage the CEO of Niantic, Mr. John Hankey. Thanks, Rachel. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Chicago. It's a It's I mean what the hell? I know I know everyone was upset. I know like basically the, the servers weren't coping with it. The mobile phone networks with 22,000 people in Grant Park weren't coping with it. People couldn't get on and play the game. It was supposed to be this amazing day and people couldn't get on and play Pokemon Go. They couldn't catch Pokemon. Um, so there was lots of angry people. I don't think it really warranted the abuse he got. At the end of the day, these guys have got this amazing game. And the reason we're all so passionate about it is because we love it that much. Yes, it's frustrating when things go wrong. Yes, they do seem to mess it up. No, they don't seem to be the great sort of company of managing their game in the world. But however, we do have this game. We do have this game. It's broken sometimes. It doesn't work sometimes. But we all still love it. We're all still here. So we've got to remember that. But it, it does get worse. And this, I totally, totally don't condone. When the first announcer comes on the stage, she actually gets like a full bottle of water thrown at her and it just misses her. I don't think she noticed because she didn't react at all, but it literally almost hit her. I'll, I'll put that video up as well now. Six Pokemon types here that you've got to catch to unlock our global rewards. Just a reminder, you got to catch fire type, water, grass, electric. Electric, rock, and normal. So, yeah, lots and lots and lots of frustrated people in Grant Park. And then obviously they announced that the day started and that the window was open to go and catch Pokemon for the first catch window, which was, I believe, 11.30 till 12 over in Grant Park. Uh, in the UK, it was 5 to 5.30. Um, and that all apparently happened. But this is where it started getting even worse. Now, we knew Niantic, you know, we knew they wanted us to complete these challenges. We, we really knew that. I mean, they couldn't not have us complete these challenges because they're supposed to release legendaries. I mean, this, this, this could have totally, this event could have totally healed them. Uh, all their wrongdoings. If this event went off, it was amazing. They released legendaries. Doing this could this could have been it. This could have solved it for them. But they got caught out. So the first thing that happened uh, was this. I'll just put myself down in the corner somewhere down here. So if you watch the scoreboard, so this is the scoreboard that's keeping track of all the types of Pokemon that. Uh, they were catching in Grant Park, so obviously we got types for certain bonuses. If you watch the last video, um, you'll see the type chart in there and what awards we would have been given. But if you watch the type chart in a minute, it jumps up all of a sudden. <laughs> like it's being altered to make sure that we're getting closer to that goal. Scratch that. After that, it gets worse. This was taken uh, by someone actually at GoFest. 
Um, now, if I put this up on the screen as well now, you this is as close zoom in of one of the monitors in the lounges. And it's got a modifier on it. It's literally got a threshold modifier on it. And you can see, you can literally see what the thresholds are. And you can see them literally being altered. I don't know if they was trying to change that and they accidentally pumped it out to that screen. But however, the thresholds are being modified. And they got caught doing it. I mean, I don't know if the, just the, their tech department or just the, that inept. But, you know... We wouldn't have mind as, as long as the, this went on behind the scenes to a certain extent. The whole idea is it's this this build up. I'm sure they were trying to leave it right to the end so we didn't complete the goal. So, oh yeah, are we going to make it? Aren't we going to make it? And really build up this massive hype. Um, but it just ended up looking like they'd screwed up again. So they'd gone from servers not working to phone service screwing them over to getting caught doctoring the the charts so we could see what was happening it yeah it was it was not good at all and then the icing on the cake at the end of the day people were so so cheesed off i mean there was literally tweets about it everywhere um nine tick help so the uh, twitter account was saying look if you're having trouble come to us at the tent um, the long and short of it is they were giving out a hundred dollars of poker coins in the store Everyone got a free Lugia to their account GoFest tickets have been being refunded That's a huge blow for 90. They've got the number one grossing app in the world So they're not short of a few pennies, but however the fact that they've had to refund GoFest tickets at you know 20 pounds a time the fact that they've, um, you know, had to do all of this other stuff just to sort of save face and fix what's happened is huge. Like, that's totally huge. It really, really is totally huge. Um, yeah. Wow. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the final video up so you guys can see. And this is the official 90 explanation um, of basically what happened and I'll also uh, include the uh, Pokemon Go Live official release that they put out on Twitter in the UK sort of very late last night. Um, so yeah, let's um, watch that video. Play it. A lot of people have been out around the park so just kind of catch you up on, on what's been happening. Um, there's three issues that we've been trying to solve for the last couple hours. Um, one is with network provider side. Uh, and then the other two are, are on our side with regards to an iPhone crash bug as well as an authentication issue. Um, we have uh, a couple of use cases that we wanted to share with you that, that are working for some people. Um, we don't know if it'll work for you, but we wanted to at least share that because it's uh, actually been some successful for some. The other thing, in case you were out in the park um, earlier today, just to catch you up, um, we will be providing details um, later this afternoon around uh, refunds. Um, we want to make sure you get your tickets refunded and we will also be um, awarding everybody that attended here in Chicago today $100 in Pokey coins in your account. So again, this is... It's uh, 30 Thanks. We know that, we know that uh, this is not the day that we had all envisioned, but we appreciate your patience and, uh, you know, try those solutions. It, it has worked for some people and, and uh, maybe it'll work for you guys as well. More updates as they come and um, thank you again. Whoa, so after that, we're all left with a bit of a, a bitter taste in our mouth, to be honest. Um, yeah, so it's not gone very well for Niantic, but what, we, what can we take, right? Let's, right, so all of that, sad, 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 upsetting, 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 not great. Let's end on a positive note. The positive notes are this. People that attended the event, okay, I should imagine they're going to suffer the backlash of we paid to fly here and it cost us hundreds and hundreds of pounds issue with people that went for a very long time. But however, people have got poker coins. So that's 22,000 people that aren't going to have to spend anything in their shop for a while. That's, that's still a big blow. 
all the ticket refunding, I should imagine, you know, what it actually physically cost them to put the event on. I mean, from what I saw, it didn't look amazing, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was really, really cool one of there, but from the screenshots and the videos that I've seen, it, it looked mediocre. But anyway, so people that went have got refunded. They've got a Lugia. They've got some poker coins. You know, they have made an effort to try and fix that with the people that went. That's really cool. Um, they have given us Articuno because Mystic contributed the most to the catching. And that's really, really cool. So as of this morning, so I, it's what, uh, 10 to 10 UK time when I'm filming this, um, people from our Facebook group have gone out, they've partaken in legendary Articuno raids, and they've caught Articuno. I'm really gutted. I've literally got to go to work at 11.30, and then I'm there all day. Um, and then I'm at work the next day as well, and because I'm a chef, I start work really early and finish work really late. Um, I might try and see if I can get out of my lunch break on Monday. Um, see if I'm going to Minehead or somewhere like that, or I might see if I can get down to Taunton, but I don't think I'll have enough time, um, which is a bit sad. And then it's like, you know, making sure people are there because I don't think an Articuno is soluble somehow, folks, as much as I'd like to think it was. Anyway, that's the wrap on what happened at Pokemon Go Fest. Remember, you can go out for the next couple of days and partake in legendary raids for Articuno. Yeah, go get involved. Um, I'm interested to see how long they keep the legendaries around for, if that's just going to be like a really, really rare thing after that. But anyway, if this has been really helpful, guys, and you're not subscribed, remember to subscribe. It's really, really helpful. It lets me know that you guys are liking and want to see more. Remember to give this video a great big fat thumbs up if you found it interesting, if you enjoyed the content. And make sure you tune in next time for more cool content, Pokemon Go, and various other stuff on the Mythic Boost channel. See you later, guys.